Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Divine Empress 71. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Um, I hope everybody's having a, a uh, fantastic Monday so far. Um, so um, what I have on the table is I have Seven of Cups, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and I have Justice, which is Libra Energy. I I wish I would treat you better. I wish I could feel your body close to mine. Mm. Okay. It's another one of those. So somebody is in regret. And somebody is missing you too. Uh, collective. You could be a water sign. Or an air sign. Libra, or you could have been dealing with a Libra. Mm. You could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this, or maybe this person is. But whoever this person is, um, there's a lesson that they are learning too because this person was somebody who may have uh, explored other options, or they, you know, they had. In other words, there was there was uh, there was others besides you, uh, collective. Uh, this person is learning some sort of uh, karmic justice too. That one of the things that they're learning is they is that they're gonna uh, they're gonna get what they gave. They're going to get back what they gave out. That and That's a universal law. You know, uh, I get what I give, basically. Whatever energy you put out into the universe, that, that is what's going to be returned to you. This person is, um, uh, this person may be learning this now. Yeah. They it looks to me, because of these options, they uh, either they juggled you with another option or other options, or um, at, uh, or either they walked away from you, or they caused you to walk away from them because of it. Okay. All right. Let's see what else comes out. I'm trying to get a little bit of more about this person. Spirit. What else can you tell me about this person? Mm. Well, you were dealing with Aries. Emperor is here. And it is in the upright. Um, yeah, this is somebody who's stable. You know, could for some of you this could be a older a older uh gentleman, a older man. Don't necessarily have to be. It could be female as well. Um, yeah, but this is somebody, uh, well, you know, they are very, it could be somebody's father, or he's a father figure. Very authoritative. Very, um, you know, he's a leader. He's a protector. Can also be a go-getter when it comes to what he wants. Very ambitious. Hmm. Yeah. This is a, a traditional kind of person, too. They like things to go a certain way. Whoever this person is or was. Hmm. Hmm. Then we got Virgo Hermit. Yeah, so this is, um... This, this might be... Somebody who's who has uh, been spending a lot of time alone, doing some soul searching, self reflecting, mm -hmm. because they know that what they did, you know, with these options, what they did just wasn't right, and and so they must have received some sort of karma, some karmic justice 
came to them at some way, shape, form, or another. Mm. They've been kind of in solitude <laughs> over this too, reflecting on some things. Mm. For some of you, this person could be tapping into the, to, to their spiritual side. Or they may be, possibly be, because of this karmic justice, they could be dealt with spiritually as well. Mm. I don't know, but I think it, they're being patient too with something, or waiting or something. I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, let's see here. What else, Phil? Mm. Yeah. Five of Wands. Yeah, you had conflict with this person. You didn't you didn't get along with this person, Collective. <laughs> you fought with this person. Argued a lot. Mm. Cause this person could be somebody who not only were they very authoritative, but they could be very aggressive. Had a temper. They get uh, they get mad real easy. Hmm. Cause y'all had for some of you, you had a clash of per you know of the personalities with this person. This person had ego issues too. <sighs> very defensive, very territorial too. Um. You know, uh, this is a what's mine is mine kind of person and what's yours is mine kind of person. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo. All right, what else? We have um, high, uh, high Priestess, Pisces Energy. Yeah, so, um, so uh, Collective, you use your intuition. You had an inner, a, a inner knowing that this person uh, might have been exploring other options. Or uh, they could have walked away from you because of it. Uh, or you walked away from them. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, you discovered the truth about about this person. Mm. And then we have the star card here too as well. Yeah. Um so with the star card being here. You, uh, collective, you are, you may be, this person may see you now as this star. Um, because, you know, they see you because you had, um, you, you, you were faithful. You had this healing energy about you. Um, mm. you, you brought uh, some happiness, peace to this person. You really did. Mm. You may have inspired them too. Mm. You had a lot of uh, qualities. Uh, you are a spiritual person too for some of you. You had a lot of qualities that this person did like about you. You did. Hmm. And then we have ten of, ten of Pentacles. Um, this is um, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is about um, hmm, money. Uh, some sort of unexpected financial uh, windfall may be coming in for you. 
Uh, some of you may be may be receiving a lump sum of money. Mm. A deed to a property, a will, something was being maybe uh, willed to you. Mm. Whatever it is, there is some inheritance here. Trust fund. Mm. Yeah, for some of you, this person may see you <laughs> as uh, privileged in that sense. You know. And they and they may want this Ten of Pentacles too with you as well. Because for some of you, uh, just like this emperor, you too are stable, financially stable, you know, and you are doing well. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So this person may see uh, having this Ten of Pentacles with you. For some of you, if they didn't see it before, they see it now. Hmm. Then we have the page of pentacles. That's in reverse. Uh, this is more earth energy. Yeah, it's something about um, bad news concerning earthly matters, money problems. This is this this is this is a part of this person's karma. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You may be doing well right now, and this person knows it. This person knows that you're doing well. But while you over here, you know, reaping whatever prosperity you got going on, they were here going through it. They're having some issues. Hmm. This person is somebody too, uh, collective. For some of you, this person did not appreciate you either. They didn't appreciate you. You were, for some of you, you were actually taken for granted. Hmm. This person didn't really didn't know who you were to them until after you were gone. Because Whatever this other option was, obviously, they thought that going over there was, uh, uh, you know, a much, was a, was a better decision to do at the time. Yeah. Hmm. They didn't, they didn't even realize either, for some of you, just how stable you may have, you may have been. Uh, or maybe financially either until you until you were gone they went off somewhere else and you know and thought that was maybe they might have thought that other one of these options was more financially stable than you so they chose them they chose to go toward them you know rather than trying to deal with you but some of you really came up after you walked away from this person as well. Some of you may may not have been doing, you know, financially all that well when you were dealing with this person. But but they see you now though. It's ten of pentacles. Mm. Yeah, and with this um this is also in the reverse of uh, the uh, two of wands, this is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag. Mm. This person, uh, they, uh, this is somebody who fears change. They were very indecisive. That's why they, uh, they couldn't make up their mind about you. Wasn't really sold on you. And they really did not trust the process or the process of the connection with you. So they, Explored other options. Mm. Mm. This person could have, <clears throat> for some of you, this person could have kept you waiting by giving you false hope. 
you know, that they really wanted this connection with you. Mm. But it was all a, it was all an illusion. It was all a lie. And they did it to keep you stuck. That's what they did. Because um, with the Three of Cups here being here, they celebrated with other people. They celebrated with somebody else. They did. Hmm. Yeah, they they indulged in a lot of, you know, parties. This is a person who likes to party and socialize. You know, they like attention. Hmm. Yeah, this is a good time encounter person. Mm. And they could have had you in a third party. They should, they should yeah. Or they had third parties inter interfering in, you know, in the connection you guys had. Mm. Mm. Let's see what else comes out. Mm. Here we go. Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Air energy. Yeah, this person stabbed you in the back. And for some of you, it's been multiple times. Mm. This person could have bad mouth you behind your back with these, with this third party or whoever these third parties were. They could have bad mouth you, talked about you. Mm. And for some of you, they could have been bitter after you walked away, or they could have left you bitter. After they did this to you. Mm. But some of you, this person may have looked at you as naive, gullible. Mm. I'm told, Lord, I'm hearing doormat. Like, they treated you like a doormat. Hmm. And when they left you, for some of you, they thought that they walked away and left you like, you know, rock bottom. You know, like, you know, like left for dead. You're like, you wasn't, <laughs> you wasn't going to come back from this hurt, from this, uh, this backstab. You weren't going to come back from it. At least that's what they thought. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you could have been dealing with, <laughs> you could have been dealing with this uh, player, player, especially with the devil. Air, okay. Night one. You could have been dealing with Aries, again, or a fire sign, or a Capricorn, or you could have been dealing with a fire sign who may have earth in their chart. This person was toxic as hell. They had addictions. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This is somebody who's, uh, they, this is somebody who could have mental issues too. For some of you, this person could have mental issues. Uh, narcissistic, or they have narcissistic traits. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing more covert narcissist. Uh, they kept a lot of secrets. They're obsessive, possessive as well. This is a cheater, cause you know he's a player, player. You know, like to take risks. Um, and they like to, they don't think either when they do, you know, when they do things. Um. And they and uh, they like to compete, and they don't mind a challenge, either. Mm. And they and this is also somebody who uh, they feel they they very competitive, so they they feel like they uh, like they got something to prove 
Two. Mm. Jealous. Very jealous. Materialistic. Mm-hmm. Money hungry. Abusive. Verbally or physically. I'm hearing more verbal than anything. This is somebody who might have been quick at the tongue. They they could they could say some mean stuff. This could have been an opportunist as well. Uh you know, uh they ain't really care about love too much. It was just all about money, st you know, status, how things look, you know, that that sort of thing. And see, like I said, for some of you, when they were dealing with you or when you were dealing with them, they didn't they they didn't think you didn't they thought that you didn't have nothing. Like, you know, you had, you know, you had a lot of love to give, but that, but that wasn't what they was looking at. They were looking at what you had financially. You know, what did you have going for yourself financially? What could you bring to the table financially? Yeah. Mm. So they went on off and invest in another option or other options. And they could have listened to other people, too, in regards to it. But they got karmic justice, though. Because, see, now you are doing well. <laughs> you are doing well financially. You know, you are the ten of, you know what I'm saying? You, you, a lot of you are at the nine of pentacles, even though the card didn't come out yet. But this person sees you now as the ten because you are currently in the nine. See, you are currently in the Nine of Pentacles. You're single. You're doing with prosperity is your best friend right now. And this person is seeing that. Uh, uh, they might be watching you. That's that's one reason why they know this. You know what I'm saying? That you just one pinnacle away from getting this 10. So, you know, some of you may already have it. Uh, and the rest of you will get it. It's on the way. That one more pinnacle. You know? But now they they may want to be the one to come back and give you this one pinnacle. But a lot of you are like, hell no, I don't want this. I do not want this toxic uh play up from the Himalaya over here. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, because this person, for some of you, this person burnt you pretty good. You know, to the point, you know, and this uh with this backstab right here, mm -mm. you probably, some of you walked away, got away and said, uh-uh, I would never let this devil, this devil, this, this hoish dog come back <laughs> and stab me in my back ever again. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm-mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's see what else comes. What else, spirit? <laughs> Mm. And then we have the moon, and that came out in reverse. Pisces energy. So, this is all about um, some some secrets being revealed. But see, bit but because of the fact that you are so intuitive, those secrets became uh, revealed to you anyway. Whatever secrets that this this uh, person was keeping, it you know, it was revealed, and and through and you had an inner knowing anyway that this person was was doing some shady stuff behind your back, you know, and uh, hmm, and for some of you, the reason why this person kept stabbing you over and over again in your back, because for some of you. You were on a, um, you were on a, uh, competitive cycle with this person. You were on and off, on and off, in and out. And the reason why that was, was because this person was, was off and on with other people. So, and I saw they were, they were back and forth, back and forth, on with you, off with somebody else, on with you, 
off with somebody else. It was just a game. It was like a repetitive cycle. So that's why they were able to do that because, you know, you know, y'all would break up the makeup and then you would let this person come back and try to patch it up for this person to take another sword and stab you in the back all over again. <laughs> this person deceived themselves by deceiving you. They did. They deceived themselves. Now they over here wishing that they could have treated you better. Because see, now they realizing that if they was looking for the bag, collected, you was the bag all along. You were the bag. And everything else. You were a bag full of blessings. Mm-hmm. So, they treated you, for some of you, as though you wasn't good enough. That you wasn't worthy. They did, for some of them. Regret. Regret, regret, regret. Let's see what's up. Uh, Let's get some more um, direct messages. Yeah, sometimes I um, I struggle to to uh, express my feelings. Yeah, this is somebody who they wasn't they wasn't all that when it came to the emotional front. You know, um, this could have been somebody who was uh, very. Um, Immature when it came came to their emotions. Yeah, and then this is also somebody who, uh, oh, what is it? Um, this was a um, if this was a masculine, uh, this is somebody who like uh, this could have been a, I'm picking up a, a alpha male. Uh, this is somebody who, um. They felt like that, you know, they didn't like vulnerability or showing vulnerability because it because it made them look weak. It made them look like a sucker. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see what else comes out. Yeah. I kind of figured that's this, 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 you know, um, they, they really want to work on this connection. I truly want to work on this connection. See, so that, that tells me to see, uh, you know, this wish I could have treated you better and all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm. This person, this person wants to come back towards you. That's what this is. That's exactly what this is. And this person is dealing with loneliness too, which is a, uh, which is also part part of their karma as well. Uh, my loneliness is killing me when you're not around. Yeah, they miss your presence. They miss your presence. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So these other options are the or whoever or whatever they had going on over here. They got over there and found out that the grass wasn't as green as they thought it was. They thought that if they thought that somebody else was uh, was um, a better choice financially, let's just say, yeah, they could have been at the time. They could have been a better pick on the, you know, on the money side of it, on the money front. They could have been a better choice. <laughs> but... You just, but you can't base a connection just solely on money alone. No. This person got over there and found out, uh, this person, I'm picking up that, uh, this person, this option that they thought was better, they was toxic just like they were. They got over there and not uh, met their match. That's what they did. For some of them, they, they, they got over there and they met their match. <laughs> yeah um and uh things did not go the way that they hoped that it would 
Yeah, so that's why they in this regret now. You know, wishing they coulda, woulda, shoulda crap. So, hmm. I've, I've been thinking about the last time I saw you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this... Excuse me. Yeah, this this person is probably thinking about you all the time. Mm-hmm. Especially at night. Hmm. Especially at night. I would like to give this up. Mm -hmm. See, I would like to give this another chance. I'm telling you. Mm. But if this person do try to come back towards you, I believe that uh, this person is going to be depleted. They may be depleted financially because of the other option that they chose or other options that they chose. Uh, because even though, you know, the, the page of Pentacles is in reverse, uh, they, they, <laughs> they've been getting some bad news about their money. Money, money matters, money problems. This is somebody who can, who can, uh, this is somebody who can be very ignorant in their thinking too. Childish. They don't appreciate nothing. Or they don't appreciate what a person does for them. But they make they gonna come back if they do in this in this page energy coming back with baggage. They're gonna be coming back with money issues. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna be coming back with money issues, uh collectively. Yeah. All right, let's see. We're going to close this out. All right, so let's get a message from Spirit. Hmm. So, we have facing it. You know something isn't right. Don't be afraid to find out the truth. It will set you free. Yep. Well, for you, uh, collective, you, um, because you are so intuitive, you knew the truth. You found out the truth about this person. Yeah. Because intuitively, intuitively, you knew something wasn't right. You knew this person had some other things going on, you know, by the way, because they had this in and out thing going on with you, you know. Uh, they were never sold on you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They were never sold on you. So, um, so, uh, they were, um, because they was looking at the outer surface and what you, uh, had or, or could bring to the table on the financial front, because that's what they was looking at. That made them somewhat indecisive and explored other options with, you know, partying and kicking it with other people and exploring other options. But, you know, they, you know, but you were dealing with a cheater anyway. For some of y'all, this is a lustful person. They, you know, and they use sex to, you know, uh, you know, as a, as a form of, uh, you know, manipulation. Yep. But one thing about the truth. It will set you free. That's, and that's true. That is true. The truth will set you free. You know, um, especially if you can accept it for what it is. If you can accept it for what it is, then it will set you free. And you move on from it, collective. Yep, you move on from it. But that's all I have for this reading, collective. I hope it, you know, um, hope it was a blessing for you. If it resonated for you, you know, you know what to do. So, um, uh, I will, you know, uh, see you guys next time, and I hope you have a blessed afternoon. All right, bye-bye.